Hey, I'm Ashish. I'm Prano's brother. This is Mango Bay. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. <laughs> For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Welcome to Mango Bay. One stop shop for South Asian recklessness. What's up? It's your boys, best boys, Usama Siddiqui. Pranav Bihari. We're two American, Indian, and Bengali comics mm. in the scene doing the stuff. Getting wild. Getting wild. Getting Wet and crazy. wild. Yeah. Staying ahead of the culture. Absolutely. Staying with it. Staying on it. Patreon.com slash Mango Ooh, Bay. Oh, yeah. If you're not on it, get on it. Get, get on under it. it. Get that's within the, it. That's where the real juice of the mango is, oh, actually. Always. The rush. The rush, yeah. The rush. Get in it. Open up the peel. Peel it back. Peel back the layers yeah, of the mango. Truly. Get to the get Getting to the into core. the seed. Get to the seed. What's up? We got uh, early access. We got bonus content. We got yeah. archived episodes. We got Discord yes. server. Yes. We got hidden pictures of our nethers. Yes. What's up? You can uh, say whatever you want just because my brother's here. He <laughs> said nethers. He's like, oh, what? nethers. I want to show him that I know net- medical yeah. words. I now, mean, that, you, that, we could have used that restraint when we were out there with my nephews and you were like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Five, five seconds in, I, I gotta say one fuck, and then it's I'm I, the cleansed. I'm cleansed. Osama has to traumatize families. <laughs> what? By saying one, dropping one swear Just word a, accidentally. A little, a little nub, a little. Uh, anyway, so um, and also, what's more traumatic, me saying the f word once, or his son punching me in the nuts ten yeah, times? It's true. Ten times. <laughs> it full does warrant. Lock on, like we're playing Dark Souls. It, oh, does, it does warrant. It's just the welcome. <laughs> just the welcome. He's, From both sides. Yeah, both sides. He says hello. Yes, yes. Uh, we are here with my brother, Ashish, Dr. Ashish Bihari, distinguished surgeon. Um, Incredible guest. Yeah. Well, uh, honestly, you know, Prana's my, my best boy. And so I would be like, if I didn't like Ashish, it would be an issue. It would be weird. It would be weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So love Ashish. He took me in Thanksgiving. The yeah. family so That's good. True. The whole vibe is good. Uh-huh. Everyone as part of my family members is like, just a pure vibe. It's a great vibe. Um, the Biharis are a good time. And very, very good time. Every room was like a little carnival. That's true. At Thanksgiving. <laughs> at Thanksgiving. So Pranav knows this vibe very well. So he's like sitting down with like the, <laughs> the uncle, like the, yeah. the phone resting on his stomach. Yeah, it's true. Scrolling through. Felice is like just on his arm. Like, you know, it's like a very like uh, domesticated vibe. And I'm just like flitting around. Uh, auntie, uh, y- your wife is like playing games with like the kids. And I'm there. I'm partying there. Seiji's like... You know, huffing paint in yeah. one area. I'm, I'll do a little quick little thing. I'm out. It was like a little carnival of the Baharis, and I just I loved it so much. So it was a good time. Thank you dude. again. Oh. For that. You got to come back next year. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in. My family's gone. Thanksgiving um, in Central Pennsylvania. We wanted to welcome all the Indians. There we go. Hey, first bit. Joe, did you like that one? <laughs> Off the row, on the board with one. Nice little field goal. <laughs> it's a good right one. There. It's a little easy layout. Um, <laughs> so we have quickly a jungly story. Real He's quick. so shy, my brother. You can see him. Look, like, he's excited. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get up and do the gritty. Yeah. yeah. The what? The, 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 the gritty. Oh, never mind. It's a new dance. Oh, okay. Oh, he keeps it young. Okay. He uh, does, he's got young. He's got kids. He's got kids. You know. You know what's interesting? Mango Bay. Uh, people come in with so, such different energy. Like some people are like. Going too hard because they think that we're just like insane. So they'll be like, yeah, pussy farts, right? Yeah. <laughs> like minute one. So it's like that, like how people come in is always a fascinating it is. It uh, is. look. And you're doing great, buddy. She's just going to do great. Okay, quick little jungly story of the <laughs> week. He's blushing like it's prom right now, yeah. man. Yes, he's excited. So uh, this happened. Keep, yet- the, keep the mic as well. Yeah, yeah. So this happened yesterday. Okay. okay. I actually just wanted to tell you about this. Yes, it wasn't yeah. even intended to be a jungly, but. Yesterday, for the first time ever, a club that I work at a lot. I'm not going to name the club. It's a great club. club. I already know, probably. It's it's a great club, actually. And they, I, I did like a dozen spots there this week, right? right? And I love the club, and they've really done some amazing things with it. So right. I'm very, I'm kind of proud of them too. The and this owners. club I love as well. I want to make sure everyone knows I love this club as well. Yeah. Great people, great, great. No, they're they're a great club. They're going up. But they they DM me yesterday. It's like an hour before I had a, sh- a set yeah. there, and they're like, "Hey, hate to do this." Oh boy. Hate to do. I'll actually pull up the DM just so I can I can paraphrase it properly. But your bird diary a bit was a yeah. little much. So they were like, mm, 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 mm. Where, where are they at? Yeah, they're like, 
hey, we had to do this sort of thing. Just be careful on stage. Gen Z is sensitive. Wow. And we don't want to alienate them. Oh, boy. Got a couple complaints about the R word joke. Ooh. Okay. Mm, wow. We know it's a bit. We just want you to know how it's been performing. And then they're like, hey, and you know, the whole crowd was laughing really hard at it. So it's a very complicated issue. And they're like, we love the bit. We know. It's just, we just thought you should know because we get complaints about it sometimes. I'm going to play the bit. Yeah. I'm going to play the bit for us now. Here we go. And to me, this is, I was bummed because this is, this is a staple. It's a great bit. Mm. Okay. It is a, I think it's a truly great bit. It's one of my favorite bits that I do. It's longer than the one I'm going to play now. Are we ready? Yes. Back in 2017. It'll be over. It's making a comeback. It's ma- I don't say the word at all. I never say the word. I quit saying it back in 2017, okay? Yeah, I started vaping instead. And <laughs> I know the word ret- making a comeback because I was on the subway recently, okay? And I was sitting across from these, like, Gen Z girls. Here we right? go. And I knew they were Gen Z because they had, like, you know, blue hair and autism. And... <laughs> <laughs> So good. Real so talk. Good. Real talk. Okay? And listen, these two, these Gen Z girls were sitting there and they were like talking shit about somebody that they knew who wasn't there. And the one girl was like, oh my God, I can't, Candace, I can't stand her. She's so, oh, I can't stand her. She's so, and her friend was like, hey, 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 hey. They're rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's great. I will say, hilarious bit. You say retarded a retarded a number of times. Yes. It's like seven. So it's, it's, it's a bot. I mean, the bit is about it. You said it so many times. Retards can't even count that high. I know. It's true. You know it's, 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 it's a tard resistant <laughs> joke. But, so I got a DM about them, and I think the bit is good because it's not like I'm like, oh, retarded people suck, or like, you don't no, even no, call, no. we know no. that. You don't call people with the, uh, disabilities that word, right? It's like shitting on Gen Z culture. It's, to be just, it's just talking about Gen Z right. culture, actually. It's the idea that they're so uh, word conscious that even, yes, they're, they're word, you know, so like they're, they're conscious with the wrong word. It's just yeah. playing with that. Yeah. It's great. It's a great bit. You say it so many times, though, that if someone hated that word, it would floor them. It would floor them. It would <laughs> devastate them. It would devastate them. The thing them. is, it's like, this is like the yeah. Gen Z comedy club. Yes. Right? And it is. It for is. some reason, they book me there a ton. Right? Yes. <laughs> Which is crazy, because I, my bits are like pretty spicy. Yes. I'm not like Dimitri Martin or whatever, you yes. know? Yes. So I was like, does this ever happen to you? All the time. No, no. Uh, I love them, too. Same club. Uh, I work there a lot as well. If I'm doing new stuff yeah. uh, during the weekdays, I hit them up. They're always gracious. Always love with these people, for real. Um, and I'll bomb there pretty uh, pretty regularly yeah. sometimes, and I'll kill there too as well. Yeah. But it's definitely a blue-haired autistic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's great. Listen, I do that. Everyone needs to laugh, right? That's, that's exactly and, what I agree. And totally. it's all love. Really, it's literally all love. I just hate when I bomb sometimes. That's all yeah. it is. But they're sometimes surprising too. Like, you know, cause, you know it's, the cross section is hilarious because it's a place that is getting gentrified, right? So yeah. you got kind of a, sub, a double subset. You got blue heart autism, and you have teardrop black. Face tattoos. <laughs> Face tattoos. Yeah. Teardrop black. Or Latino. And also yeah. a Latino. So you have those two. They're all in the same room. I know. Listening to comedy. What gets them both to laugh? What a fascinating. The, this bit. <laughs> the, here's the fascinating this, this, thing to me. Cross section. Here's the fascinating thing to me. This bit has never not killed at that club. Wow. Right. It always kills there. But... The thing about the Gen Zs is that they are the Karen culture, right? As much as they want to talk shit about Karens, they are the ones who will be like, mm, actually, one thing you need to change about this play, they'll complain and say, don't do this bit. And, and we're got in because we blow shit Cut up. In. Get in, yeah. yeah. I'm like the Myanmar. Like the Myanmar. <laughs> Terrorist insurgency. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm over for one now. I'm, I'm lower than Ashish <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now. Oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> we're like Luthian, Luther and Johnny up here. Remember them? Uh, it's Ashish. <laughs> Dude, uh, have, has a joke ever offended you? Ever? For real? Um, Only when you swear in front of his kids. I'm so sorry. No, about that. not yeah, even I, that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to say there's somewhere I'm like, you know, okay. It's on the edge, mm, yeah. edgy. Yeah. Right? Edgy stuff. But 
I, I can't say that I've been super offended. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. You, you, you know, he came up in a different era. He's he's also, not a pussy. Y'all, y'all's family is like always joking. Super offensive. We're yeah. a very jo- we're a very jokey family. Did you hear about the we're very offensive? Did you hear about the when they were playing Stavros Halkias? The, the oh, comedy God. special. <laughs> Dude, mom and dad, they were visiting. <laughs> I can't, listen to the story a thousand times. We can't times. go back into it, but but we put on wait, the special. Wait. This guy, he's a great comic. We love him. He just happens to be fat. And uh, oh, mom and dad immediately just started roasting the shit oh, out of him. Oh, my God. He was like, ugh, ugh, get him off. Dude, his, dude, the special dude. was called Fat Rascal. Dad's like, it she, what did he say? He's, they should just call it, they should just hold, uh, take out the word rascal yeah, and just that. keep it. Stavros Halkias, fat. Dad? And then the dad and is then, the roast man. And then, oh and then mom, and then uh, Kumpu Manti was like, um, he looks like he always has to go to the bathroom. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it was something like that. That's was, pretty good. It was, he, they had a couple. They was like, fat weird Al Yankovic. Oh my God. Um, and the mom was like, we need to turn it off. It's spoiling my karma. Wow. That was one thing. Wow. <laughs> Just gonna go pray. I mean, that was, that was very funny. They were, go- but then they were leading yeah. into. It. They saw how much I was laughing, and then they just kept going with the roast. Um, but I don't know. To me, that bit is like, I, I do. You, would you ever? What? You, I told them I was like, I'm not. I won't oh, do the oh, bit anymore. Would you ever? Would, would I ever do that bit? No. Would you ever not? Would you ever stop doing it a bit? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one bit. Uh, I think it's fine. I. Because it's, it's come, they come with love too. They do. So if they're coming with love, they probably didn't want to even do it. No, they, they didn't. Me. No, they, so they really like me. If so. they put them on the block a little bit, then I'll put myself on the block a little bit too, and I'll I'll meet y'all. Yeah, you know uh, that's that's how I felt about it. Because there was a part of me. Yeah. There were two instincts that I had. One is you know this. I was a Badmashi boy, so I got in trouble a lot as a kid. Got in trouble right. outside of school, inside of school, and I have a feeling that I get now yeah. where I'm yeah. like, oh. Fuck. Pranav's in trouble. Yeah. I'm in trouble right yeah. now. Uh, somebody's going to tell somebody else. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I feel it like right here. Yes. And I'm like, yes. oh man. It feels good. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It feels bad. Well, you were the good boy. You were never in trouble ever. He was, he was a bad boy in, in other ways. Uh, right. He just never got caught. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe. I heard your stories, buddy. Yeah. Exactly. I, I see you as the first cool Indian ever. <laughs> we're going to get into this. We are going to get into this. Okay? Hold this. Hold this. We are going to yeah. get into this. But so my feeling with these guys was... I told him, I was like, hey, no problem. Let's stop doing it. And then they were, again, bringing the love. They're like, fully appreciate it. A lot of comics wouldn't get it. Da, 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 then da, next da. time you do it, the joke has three more retards in it. Well, yeah, the thing is, like, there's an extended bit in this joke about the, auti- <laughs> about the autism piece, too. And, and like, I could tell that the day before, on Thursday, I, d- I was doing a set there. And it was like the long set show. And there's it's sparsely attended. And like there were some straight up. Gen Z LT, yes. like front and right, front, front and center in the wow. row, and they were having a good time with the show. Right. But it was like a bit. I was like, okay, these guys can't can't have the full. Masala. That's so funny. It's like they'll text you like, we said stop the bit, then you gave us the director's cut. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Thanks. Here's the with, with Gen Z with Gen Z artists, it's like um, it's really a, a whiplash of energy, yeah. right? They're not like millennials in that like if one thing's wrong, they'll hate you forever. Yeah, Gen Z's more like ugh. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's giving funny. It was it's giving racist. They're, they're just everywhere. They That's a hundred percent. They don't. They don't. They don't know what's going. There's. It's a. It's 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 yeah. a confusing energy actually that comes from them, and I. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's not the same as millennial. millennial I'm over that. That sort of left wing millennial energy yeah, of like, yeah. if you say one wrong thing, I have to hate everything Permanent. about you. Yeah. It's a. It's a. It's a whole. It's like they gerrymander all the hate. It's, it's a gerrymander. <laughs> it's a good way of putting they, it. They. They just everyone. They. they just, oh, the whole hate is there. Whereas Gen Z is just on a case-by-case basis yeah. in a weird way. That's what I love about the show. I just learned so much about culture, <laughs> society. I know, it's true. You know, wrapped up in laughs. I know. <laughs> well, you're getting it in two different because you get it from us. I don't interact with Gen Z that much. You I don't don't. Like. But you have, the, you have the younger, younger generation because yes. you got Ryan and Dilly. Cusp, okay. he, he's like, you know? he's like um, Ira Glass on NPR right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the guy after the music. Yeah. That was... Uh, retard. That was the good. That was the Mango gritty Band. dance. Yeah. You know? That was retarded gritty dance by Mango Band. Great guys. So, Rising stars. Listen, that's what happened, and I didn't okay. make. A, I didn't see any good deal to need to make a. Um, should we put on Dune for, for Ryu before we see Dune too? Sibby's asking. No. Wow. It. You guys are so evolved. Like you're ready for marriage or something. What Compromise. You well, you know, they came to me, so yeah. I didn't want to blow it up. <laughs> so, you, know, you know what? You gotta give. You gotta give a little. You gotta compromise. <laughs> That's so are you calling? Are you, you guys are, bro, are, you are you calling ready? us pussies right now? Is that you what's guys, happening? No, your moms are gonna be so happy. Yeah. Well, what happened to me, dude? Finally. What happened to me? I used to be 
awesome. I used to be a guy who was like, no Croatians allowed on this podcast. <laughs> I used to be cool. I used to be fun. Mango Bay now, has now grown we're, up. we're thinking about our future. This is this is lame. Mango Bay has grown up. It's true. Man, I, I'm, I'm like walking home. Pornhub doesn't even say retard anymore. I, 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 you know I never <laughs> stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Listen, literally all fucking love. As always, who gives a fuck? It's all about the laughs. But it's also human business, right? Yeah, they got yeah, a business. That's true. Wait, wait you, you're holding on to your own jokes and yeah. fucking up their business? I get the idea. And uh, have you seen the Little Dicky episode? Mm-mm. No, so Little Dicky's a show on FX, and he's about to say his most raunchy-ass song yeah. on the on Charlemagne's show. And his friends are like, don't do it. It's going to fuck everybody who depends on you. And he's about to sing the song, looks at his friends, and then decides to do another different song. Okay, yeah, I remember that. And you know what? Listen, Bo- here, I, I get it. Uh, hun- hundo, dude, hundo. And the thing is, like, I'm not like... Uh, I have edge lordy bits. Like my bits are edgy, but yeah. I'm not an edge lord. Edge lords like to offend people and they want to make people feel yes. bad. That's never my vibe. Right. You know what right. I mean? Like I and even the bit itself is like it's just pointing out I think it's a very clever pointing out an irony of a situation. You know what I mean? About language. I think it's a very smart bit. So it's not like I'm like trying to like make somebody feel like shit, you know what I right, mean? Right, right. So I totally get that. That's never going to be my thing. I'm in this because yeah. I like people laughing. Of course, of I want to make people laugh. Same here. You know, I like laughing. I want everybody to be laughing together. Like the Holocaust jokes and stuff. Yeah. What? What? Like, Holi- what? 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 <laughs> what? Uh, first of all, Ar- huh? all already laughing. I'm yeah. <laughs> Nurse Ratchet in here. What? Tell me the censor. What? No, no censorship. No censorship. Yeah. I will say this. The level of like unhinged was kind of crazy. I remember being on AGT during that time period where I was on a network television show. Yeah. And I think we posted a clip on Mango Bay on my actual account, like Nazis are hot or something yeah, like that. Pedof- Nazi pedophiles are cutie pies. Be obviously uh, satirical. And being like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, this a big opportunity is here. And I'm just posting whatever joke. Well, I told you, I thought that you didn't pa- pass through on AGT. I thought it was a coordinated <laughs> hit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because he kept killing on AGT because yeah, he got talent. Yeah. But I think they were like, oh, this guy's a bit too spicy yeah, off yeah. the show. It doesn't, make wow. any, it doesn't make any sense how I was on the show because nothing in my uh, Rolodex of jokes merges with what that show wants to be. So it was definitely someone at higher up who's just a fucking comedy fan who was like, I just need this guy on the show. Yeah. My guy, John P. John P. was the only reason I'm on the show. Guy. Cool ass guy. Just like bulldoze through all the red tape. Like, I don't know about this. Shouldn't we have leukemia guitarist again? Yeah. They're like, like, no, no, no. (laughs) No, no, no. Usama's crazy. And I just kept, you know, kind of roll like bumbling and stumbling forward. And then finally COVID hit. And then there was like a wait. Then Heidi Klum, all this kind of controversy happened. Did you hear about that, Ashish? Heidi Klum is the one who got him kicked off the show. Yes. Uh, I heard a little bit about that through you. Yeah. I just did a club joke that I do with the clubs that kills all the time. And I did it towards Heidi, uh-huh. uh, and uh, the news went a little yeah, yeah, yeah. wild. And like, first of all, again, I've said yeah. this before, I'll say it again. Yeah. Germans should not be judging comedy. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time there's Germans in an audience, it's like, okay, this is going to be a bad show. They can judge transportation uh, yeah. issues. Yes. Like train-based. <laughs> yeah. All logistics-based things. Logistics, cross-state travel. Yeah. Phenomenal at that. Yes, yes. Um, How to get a big group of people from one, <laughs> one country, country to another, another <laughs> rapidly. Very, very good at that. Yeah. Almost the best, even. Yeah. Uh, nice, dude. It's it's an insane it's an insane thing. So, I, we come up against this all a lot of times because we just the funniest thing is what we're gonna try to say. It's yeah. like the what's the funniest thing? But uh, you're also not in a, in a vacuum. There's 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 people receiving the joke as yes. well. And you have to give credence to the receiver as well. I know. It's not just a hustle so, you know, for a, your own ego. It right? is a tricky thing, though, because it's like it's a club and you're getting a variety of acts there, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not promising to be like, this is just jokes yeah. about being a neurodivergent hero or yeah. whatever, you know? <laughs> it's not just jokes about dating. It's not... yeah, that was redundant. I know. That was redundant. Okay. It truly was. Wow. It truly was. So it's me. I'm like, it's a bit whatever, but I like the way that they came to me. They came at me with love. And these guys, they, they really feed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, all love. If you know who you are, they know truly, they are. truly love. You know? Uh, uh, and I love the owners. They're a good, good, good vibe couple. Just two people who love comedy. Yeah. And so, you know, it was, I never in a moment hesitated about just being like, hey, no problem. The guys they ban, it's like white guys is the N word three times. Like they, right. they, they ban rightly when they do right. it. Have you seen them ban other people? Uh, like ban? Uh, I've heard they ban one or two, but it was like worth it. It was like, yeah. these guys are out of control. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's insane. I'm, please don't do the joke if you can. Uh, uh, there I won't. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Outside, I'll <laughs> whisper it in my ears. But the thing is, like, I do have a different threshold for what I consider to be, yeah, 
the line, right? And uh, so I'm just like, everybody's going to love this. It's smart and it's da da da. But yeah. I, so you thought it was in bounds? It's like to me, it's it's in bounds because really I'm not talking about who they think the target group is. I'm not really talking. I'm talking about the word itself and how wh- how it's evolved in the culture. Yeah. This is me. I'm like, and an, I'm an erudite guy. So, I th- you know, the joke Dude. came to me in a moment of inspiration, but there's never been a joke that I've been inspired to make where it's just like, hey, fat make. people are dumb. Never, huh? never, <laughs> never, 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 never. Hey, that's, they're stupid. Get rid of them. Like, no. And even if we say that, like, say we do a joke about fat people being fat, it's more like, isn't it crazy how society thinks fat people are fat? Right. So it's like a it's like a thing that's like a behind the thing. Anyway, the subtext is everything. But dig deeper. That's all it is. But you know, it is it is this is like the most base form of art too, right? Where it's like yeah, it's words. So people are just expecting to just get jokes. They're not expecting to have to have digest thoughts in that way. But every joke that is a joke, yeah, is uh, you laugh because there's subtext and your body is filling it in. Yeah. True. So maybe you're just mad that, you, that I'm making you fill it in or something. You know and you saying? know, I went up that yesterday. I went up and I did a whole set, and it was a pretty clean set for me. Your your, your switch up on the set should be funny. Yeah, you know, how is every non denominational yeah. non binary <laughs> person doing? You totally go company line. <laughs> well, the thing is, like those people, I like those people. Yes, I li- I like Gen Z. I like the, I oh, like yeah. what they're about generally. Yeah. you know, yeah. I think they can be annoying in certain ways, but I'm like, generally, I love these kids. Oh yeah, you yeah, know what cool. I mean? They're like cool. they're fun. They're doing their own thing. Great. Um, you just love that y'all both do ketamine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you like the ketamine combo. In front of my brother. Oh, all right. Family's gonna Sorry. be listening. The kids Sorry. will probably be watching. The kids won't watch, but at some point, <laughs> at some point, the solves permanent. Yeah. <laughs> we'll cut like a well, NC seventeen version, and I cut a uh, you know Wiggles Disney Channel version. Um, I want to ask you a question or two, man, about um, y'all, because I you know I, I I love y'all and I see y'all. Was uh, P was he always like a Funny was he like a, a, a not, funny is two different things right intentional funny and just insane funny right so was he doing jokes to you growing up yeah or was it more like he's just fucking ah, da, 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 and then that's part that's the funny I, I mean I'm gonna guess that you know he's by himself older brother's got yeah. friends over he's You're trying to up. right he's trying to like sort of mesh in and oh, yeah, and yeah, be yeah. part of yeah. what's going on so yeah. the way to do that is to make people laugh yes yes and then he's naturally funny so then we thought it was hilarious yeah. And Shit. he would do, you know, funny stuff on purpose, not on purpose, <laughs> record stuff, you know, and we just, we got a big, you know, laugh yeah, I, out of it. I, I had an older brother too. I was never the, I never could make them laugh. I, they, it was, uh, it was just unattainable knowledge with them. They seem like so above what I could possibly Were do. they laugh, you know, funny guys themselves? Funny guys themselves. Yeah. But I hated my brother. I mean, my up. friends and I, we like to, you know kind of laugh it up as well so yeah. i think we appreciated it yeah i used to make you guys laugh you yeah. had the tapes there are yeah. famous what tapes was it? Was it? It, t- he recorded a famous like comedy tape which oh, we wait, couldn't wait wait like a mixtape i was like eight years old yeah. yeah you know it was like play record yeah. on a cassette tape whoa and, and uh, what is it what was what's uh some of this hits? is just for my enjoyment by yeah. the way yeah yeah he didn't yeah. actually do this for us yeah. we discovered it and yeah. then we they just found like it. we couldn't stop laughing it's him doing like ebonics like yeah no, he just no, knows skits, <laughs> like acting, voices. Dude, you if, you, know. if you find that tape, you need to. Well, we also ruined it. I ruined it in, yeah. <laughs> in some, you know, older brother fashion. Yeah, you did. You know, recorded over it with some like. <laughs> no. uh, what did I record over it with? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Some like probably like Iron some, Maiden or something. Yeah, you exactly. Know. Some uh, Iron Maiden song. Yeah, yeah, Circle something. Jerks or whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah, the classic. Whatever I was listening to, I was like, yeah. oh, here's a cassette tape. Yeah. Let me just record it. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter that oh he recorded God. something brilliant. <laughs> the, the, the worst <laughs> I, that we still talk about. <laughs> you still talk about to this it. day. You still listen to Iron Maiden. To this day, no. Uh, I did recently. Uh, the worst I ever got beat by my dad. My dad never beat me in my life, really, except once. Um, I uh, recorded over like uh, my first like walk or something. I'm like a kid like walking for the first time. Mm. I recorded over it like uh, I, I, it was a Donkey Kong series, <laughs> <laughs> and I recorded Donkey Kong over it. And my dad found it, and he was like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. Beat me with the cassette tape. Yeah. Ruined my Donkey Kong. Yeah. So two Ruined treasures were lost that <laughs> two. day. Uh, two. There was, and it was, I now look back, I'm like, you fucking idiot. Like, you what know. the fuck? Exactly. That's whatever. It's fun to have the story of that tape. 
Yeah, it's, it was it's, gold. It was gold. I was, I was doing Maybe sketches. We, I was doing. Uh, I did like a Holly. You remember Hollywood Squares? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did it, but it was all WWF wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, you the had fully formed bits at eight. I had like really fully formed. Bro, I was doing. I was doing this. That, yeah. that was the timing. This that was my. That was my closer. Yeah, he was a content creator. Yeah. I was. I was. But you know what? Dude, I will wow. say this. I would not be the, and you can take this however you want, Ashish. I would not be who I am today without yeah. this dude. Yes. You know? Ashish, this is my brother, yeah. everybody. This is my brother, Ashish Bihari. He's a doctor. He's all the things that your Indian immigrant child is supposed to be, this yeah. guy did. But I loved, this is, I lucked out. Yeah. I struck gold with having this guy as an oh, older wow. brother. Okay. I don't it's get nice. all, you know, don't get all. He's having, he's giving him gas right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I did. The show just got real. <laughs> it did. Don't he look said, at me. He's right here. He's right look, here, Ashish. Okay. Look look, at he's always been here. No, the last time he said, trust me, you know, I ended up with like uh, permanent ink on my body. That's true. So. You got a tattoo. <laughs> trust me. Just trust me. After, just trust me. We were drunk. Ashish got the Ashoka lions on his back. It's a gigantic oh, tattoo. Edicts? It's like really something. This is before. You have the edicts. This is like before the hangover movies, but it was like that vibe. Where he got three gigantic lions on his back. <laughs> wait, wait, not the edict. The actual, just, just, just the lions. Just, just the, the lions. lions. <laughs> okay, and then immediately yeah. after, he's like, "Man, <laughs> he goes, dude, I'm conservative." <laughs> He got so pissed at me. We went to New Orleans. My one of my close friends is from New Orleans. He's like, never cross the street, Rampart yeah. Street. You'll be fine in New Orleans. Go anywhere you want. Do anything you want. But if you cross Rampart Street, eh, I can't, <laughs> can't vouch for it. Yeah. And like later that night, we're crossing Rampart Street. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was like, the, the look around is like, what? wait a second. I was like, where are we going? He's he was on a mission. He's like, dude. Just come on. Yeah. You know, <laughs> after like 10 jello shots yeah, and nice. <laughs> Bourbon Street, you know, so I'm like, why are we drinking dude. so much right now? We're like cr- <laughs> going to crash and burn. Like, it was the anesthesia. We, we kept going, dude. <laughs> we, we went hard that weekend. Yeah. Oh jello shots should be outlawed because that shit, there's no telling how much alcohol is in those things. Yeah, so exactly. Be, and it's sweet. <laughs> and then you've got like a hot girl who's just Bro, like, here, have another. Yeah, yeah. dude, the hot girl yeah. jello shot combo. The southern weakness, you know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a good anesthetic. Yeah, it didn't feel much. I love Nola. So he came out with a. Do so you have it still? I didn't like erase it. Oh, you know, oh big back that. You want to show the camera? Yeah, right? yeah, that's why I'm here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it really is like a hangover movie style, you know, antic to happen. <laughs> Don't cross Rampart up, Street. Upstanding surgeon <laughs> ends up with a gigantic back tattoo after cro- yeah after crossing Rampart Street. <laughs> I was like, wait, Eric said don't cross Rampart Street. <laughs> Number oh, one shit. cardiovascular surgeon has tramp stamp of two lions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Y'all, th- th- these are the kind of stories I never had my older brother because we only got cool like last year. Real <laughs> yeah. talk. Like, well, I feel I, like Noel was cool. In his Noel own. Was, it was very cool. He was doing the coolest shit. I thought he was the devil. I thought he was like a bad guy. He never let me into his life. Ah. Shut me out, beat me up. The whole, the whole negative. The How brother, much older is he than you? Four and a half years. Okay, years. yeah. Uh, so I saw him as a, you know, as just, just the worst guy in my life. I, I, I hated him actually. Well, she's just six years older than yeah. me, and I think that's a good threshold. To, uh, that was a little right. too old yeah. to beat him up. To beat him yeah. up, right? I mean, we used to beat each other up. We used to yeah. wrestle and we stuff. Yeah, wrestling. Yeah. But it was like there's different. You're big bone boys with strength, yeah, you know. True. I was on. Like, my brother was built like you. Yeah. And then I was built. You like were built like this. this. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. This is you. Glass. Yeah. yeah. When I first met Usama, you didn't know when he got on stage what was the mic stand <laughs> and what was the comedian. Okay. It was it was horrific, dude. I was two D for sure. Um, and Noel would use that to his advantage. He's like, oh well, look, look uh, who it is. Yeah. You're the straw and I'm the horse. Oh, Big brother damn. had a hard day at the <laughs> office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this oh, is man. nine. This is eleven. Let's <laughs> fucking oh, let's drop some shit. Oh man. Um, yeah. So then, after all this trauma, I've told this about you know on the pod a couple of times. Uh, he doesn't see it as trauma. He just sees it as Big Brother vibes. Mm. And then now he's like, so Star Wars tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I hate you. Yeah. You're, you're Hitler to me. And uh, I had to undo all that. And of course, Arnob is chill, my little brother. Yeah, okay. yeah, That's eight Arnob. year difference. Fucking boys. But you didn't do that to him. I did a little bit. I used okay. three years. So it was but like, way more love. Way, he was my You boy. paid it forward, you know? But not as bad because I, I kept him. We were like locked in. We were like just. They were buds. We buds, yeah, buds for life, right? Um, but they had the eight year. So they were like total cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so even now, uh, when I see them hang out really cool, I'll be kind of like, 
fucking pieces. I don't know how to get in this. Yeah. How do I get in this double that you love? Uh, I don't know when to jump in because I feel weird. I didn't know. I don't know the dynamic yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're again the odd man because you didn't you're know old. it from the older brother too. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But now, really, at this last coming year, it's only been love and this weird outpouring. Almost love has broken. Now this. Whenever I think of him, I start smiling. I start having loving feelings. All that's the well, trauma's kind of gone now. Yeah. Took a long time. It's bad for yeah, comedy. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I love you now. Uh, but I really, when I hear stories about y'all, I'm like, oh, this was like what I wish. It I mean, was the thing is, us. is I was a pain in the ass, yeah. and I just always wanted to be around Ashish, yeah. Max Fink, and Chet, Chet Mangi, Chet and Mangi. Yeah, these these guys oh, were like, these are yeah. the coolest dudes because you know what? they were also just like big, strong dudes. Oh, were, Chet was an Indian guy. Yeah, and he was also kind of liked by the girls yeah, in yeah. school. You oh. missed Chet on Thanksgiving. Chet oh. came through then. Oh shit! Okay. And Chet also a doctor. Yeah. you know his sister's also a doctor. They're all just like wait, wait, wait does Chet have a daughter? And funny. No. no, Chet has a daughter. No, it's his oh, sister. No, no, no. Sister. Yeah. yeah, no. Um, they're all just smart and funny. Yeah, you know, creative. Yeah. And so, so you, you were fun to hang around with. Like the brownness being lame in the eighties, like being Indian. Being, that was not a part of your life. That is, I need to talk about this. Right. Okay. I'm going to give an intro, and Ashish, yeah. you can respond to it. This is why it was amazing having Ashish as a yeah. brother, because I hear all my brown friends now, who all had like insecurities about like oh up, get, yeah. getting bullied and like oh like I didn't have any of that yeah. shit. Because I had this guy as an older brother. <laughs> I and wish. Ashish, yeah. Ashish was just like the alpha. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was the alpha in school. Yeah. He was the alpha in the streets. Wow. People are like, don't fuck with Ashish. Yeah. You know, he was a big, strong dude. I he was, was athletic. I was a big kid. <laughs> he was a big kid. <laughs> so that's why people didn't fuck with him. Right, right. You know, that was probably the only reason. Ashish right. was great at sports, you know. Because they were, they were waiting. Uh, 80s. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, the level of racism. That's like was, the height of like bad 80s bullies. <laughs> bad you know 80s, I mean? racial jokes, the highest level of racial jokes but ever. But my brother was the man. And so nobody fucked with him. So yeah. I just looked at I was like, no, I'm going to be like this guy. This guy's amazing. Dude. Like, And I'm under this guy's protection, too. Dude, yeah. you, you changed stereotypes for a certain small group of rednecks. Yes. <laughs> they were like Indians, man. They're all fucking huge. Yeah, cool. They're alphas. <laughs> they're, they're, all, alphas. they're all fucking my girl. Yeah. That's what they're doing. You know, like uh, contrary to the mainstream thought. I'm blown away by this. And, and it was amazing. And then I'm seeing him go into high school. He's pulling mad chicks. Oh. I remember he would get in trouble because our parents did not want dating at yeah. all. <laughs> but my brother yeah. would come home with a yearbook and there's girls writing like peons of love to him, just <laughs> filling up whole <laughs> pages of the pussy yearbook. Pussy prints on the... <laughs> filling, and my mom excised the page out of the book. My brother gets grounded for being too much of an alpha. <laughs> she like ruins the hot girls like yeah. testimonial that was later on but I mean there was definitely a period of time when you felt like you didn't fully fit in you did yeah for okay, me okay tell me about this oh wow I, I mean that was like bef- you know between elementary to middle yeah. and then in high school you know you just became your own okay um, this is not the experience for everybody don't say you like we all just became our own yeah. high school. <laughs> but high school's tell me cool a bit problem. more because even in, when you were in like junior high, it was like you were running with the crew of Pinebrook, the neighborhood we grew up in. Yeah. You were an alpha in that pack of dudes. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, that was just us having fun. Yeah. So and you grew up with those kids. Uh, yeah, too. exactly. Right. Yeah. That, that's true. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a good place to grow up. And yeah. People just accepted you. So yeah. I think I got lucky in that sense. And then I was also just like bigger than most people. So they left me alone. You never had any uh, Indian racism come at you? Uh, not a lot. No. A couple of the older kids down the street once said something. There was like a Ganesh on the door. Yeah, and then I was, I was sort of like clueless about it. And okay. I was like, uh, whatever. Yeah. But that was also always sort of my attitude or defense about it. I mean, even when like my friend's dog bit me and his mom said... <laughs> Angel... <laughs> And his mom said the dog doesn't like colored people. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm like, like, like the story you talk, talk about Gen Z. I'm just like, someone said that to me and it didn't like wreck my life. You know, I didn't like perseverate on that. I was like, and I just look back on it now and I kind of laugh. I right. chuckle. I mean, he did turn out to be a skinhead. You know, he grew up to be a <laughs> did skinhead. He? Yeah. Did Lee Anderson go straight Nazi? Yeah. Uh, that's what? what I had heard. Right. So, um, <laughs> they were like this southern family in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like say that war mundane. Yeah. Like, yeah. So he did become a full Nazi. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> he did. You know, you know them's the breaks. Yeah. So that's I, hilarious. You know, it's just what people were like. I guess uh, it, it didn't bother me. Yeah. It's a I mean, again. It's like, uh, and again, by the way, actual racism, deep hate happening in real time. And back then, you're like <laughs> bah humbugging it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Now it's like just him saying. The word, our word. Keep in mind, this is like a friend of Ashish's this too at boy. the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like friends. They're yeah. they're running the streets of Pinebrook yeah. together, you yeah. know? 
Oh. Jesus and, Christ. But he was like one of those military freaks who's yeah. posing with machine guns and the shit. Whole, the whole deal. You know? The whole deal. Yeah, it was a military thing. Like, his dad would whistle and you could hear it two miles away. Yeah. You, knew, you knew he had to come home. You know? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was, it was like that. They had so. a German shepherd that bit a sheesh. And the mom was like, he doesn't like. I also wrecked my bike in front of their house and their dad came out to help me. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it right. was just sort of a weird whole thing. Yeah. But as he's walking away, he's mumbling fucking Indians. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Like, don't forget that part. No, his dad was like fucking Mexican. He had no idea. He didn't even know. He had no clue. <laughs> Fixing the DoorDash bike. With, with a variety of brown. It yeah, was, he had yeah. no clue. We were yeah. too new. Like, people yeah. didn't know what to make. So they're like, is there Italian? What, what, what a fat fight, like a fun time. When races were just getting started in America, like yeah. the next wave. Yes. Indians were coming in. Asians were coming in. The 80s age. Yes. Woo! New words coming in the lexicon. I, am. I know. Hello. They, they didn't even have Pajit then. They didn't know Pajit's, man. They didn't even know about Curry then. It was just like, <laughs> Godhead, I guess. Dot, yeah. Got a dot yeah, that was it. That was probably dot it. Godhead. Yeah. That's fascinating. So you're growing up in this world. You're growing up in, like, in, in, in Pennsylvania. Pretty raw yes. area of America, TBH. Yeah. yeah. No, y'all are an Indian family. Yeah. True. But you're not really stereotypical in a way. You're... He's super Hindu. He loves the culture. And you, were you in that space as well? Negative. Now yeah, you were out. Yes, so no. wait, wait. You would you would go to temple as a kid? And I you wouldn't would even go? go to temple. I would stay at home and like read, read. Ramayana yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I, you know, I was not. Uh, it's like Pulp Fiction to you. So. Yeah, I've not been as into it. Yeah, you weren't into it. Mm, it's no. okay though. Yeah. You're a good dude. You know. But you were out there. You know, ladies were into you. In high school, Ashish was a ladies' man, dude. You were a yeah, ladies' man. That's... I know he's like he's like his wife's gonna hear this, but do you think she'll be annoyed? Okay, yeah, and, and, she knows it. Okay, Boom. you know there were multiple. Okay, here's here and was how Ashish. Here's how Ashish would get in that. trouble. Yeah. Is Ashish was just getting too much pussy, yeah. <laughs> and that was his big crime. Ashish was great in school. Ashish was a lettered varsity. He got MVP for sports. Yes, yeah. top of his class. People loved him. His biggest crime, too much of a ladies' man. <laughs> okay? Relatable. My mom and dad yeah. were just like, what are we going to do about this yeah. absolute yeah. pimp that we have raised? That's what they were thinking. You know? <laughs> They're finding bring, condoms in the car. Oh, God. You know? And like every, there was a scandal every, every like six months there'd be a scandal about this motherfucker getting too much pussy. Yeah. You know? By the way, the girls, girls fawning over him in the yearbook. Oh, girls calling God. the house all the time. <laughs> And by the way, for an Indian family, too much pussy is more than zero. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. So you're getting, you're getting more than zero pussy. Yeah. You're, first of all, leaving Cardiff in the car is like base move, bro. What, what it was an accident. There? He that was reckless was, about that it. That was totally, yeah. You know? Or you're bad. like, get this, mom. I'm fucking, <laughs> yeah. this is used, too. Check this out, mom. Check <laughs> this out, mom. Magnums. What you know about yeah. that? <laughs> um, wait, so let me ask you about this. Your, your era, this era, right? What's what's your game like in the eighties? There's not even a rule book for. This is in the nineties now. Nineties, right? Getting so you're yeah. tail. so. Are you going up to these girls? Are you like doing some like work, or is it all just coming at you like you're a celeb? Uh, well, that's what I was like. You know, there was a period where you just felt like you didn't fully fit in because for other people it seemed so much easier to like connect with uh, someone of the opposite right. mm-hmm. sex, and you know, oh, it was much more natural. And for me, it felt like I had to maybe work harder, right, or be something better. Mm-hmm. And so um, I just, but I, I didn't intentionally like play sports to try and right. do that. I just like to play sports. Right. And I think that that's what probably did it. Dude, your, your vibe was aligned with pussy. Yeah. That's the thing. Right. I, that's the thing. Luck. I think it was his luck. <laughs> so dude, it's not luck, dude. That's the thing. No, no. That's a, he's being very humble his luck about because it, but he didn't try at all. He's yeah. just like, oh, I tried it. You didn't try at all, dude. I it didn't, was very but effortless. It was because I, but I loved I know, playing I know, sports. I know, so I think love, that's what You love playing sports. It, right? You got into so, good, cool music. Yeah. yeah. You know, you were really into music. You were really into sports. And everything that I am today, like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm very into literature and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. The she's just not into that at all, but it's because of him that I am. Right, right. Because when he was in, like, middle school and high school, this guy was just loved stuff. I remember things that you were creative writing classes. I remember stuff that you wrote for those classes. Wow. You know? And, and, and uh, contrary, so scary. on a contrast, my brother... <laughs> Only Limb Biscuit at the house. All day. <laughs> All day, Limb Biscuit. Just angry. That's what I was working with. Angry yeah. music. Angry proto incel music. Insignificant other. Play come here. On- Asana, <laughs> come here. Listen, yeah. to listen to this. <laughs> Beat me up to the soundtrack of Limb Biscuit. That's my life. So I wish. Oh, man. No, no. It's all love. Noel is the best. But uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously, I love the guy. 
Uh, I, I, to, 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 to counter about those stories, I would say I would watch him play Zelda for hours. He, he probably the reason I'm a gamer right now is probably because mm. he gamed, and yeah. I, I found the love through him. I would watch him for hours playing ga- video games, and when he would stop playing video games, I would get depressed because that means I couldn't hang out with my brother uh, playing video games anymore. Right. And, and that, that moment of peace and yes. goodness, good vibes. And he, like, he would leave, and I would just like timorous, like scaredly, like play the scary, like, scary level that, on my file. Then I play the level he just played terrifiedly because I'm scared and I'm young. And then he would come in, watch me play the game, delete my file, <laughs> leave. <Jeez. laughs> he was worse. He was worse. It's like the makings of Caligula right here. You know? How I didn't end up like Nero, like, like killing cats and then like you know stabbing wow. my own mother. Wow. Uh, that guy was so brutal. He was so brutal, man. Uh, but I love this vibe. I, and I, and I love. I love that other vibe too. I'm laughing about it. It's like goofy as fuck. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Osama a hug, man. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you be Noel? Yeah. Just say your say your Noel for a little bit. And by the way, by the way, this guy right now, I fully believe, uh, is the uh, coolest. Osama, come on, this guy. Okay, thanks. Uh, and I punch you. I'm like, fuck you. He's now the out of the three of us brothers. He's the nicest and the most likable out of all of us. <laughs> Some real shit, so you grow up, cool. you know, unless you're, you're severely yeah. fucked. Yeah. Like you kind of grow up and you yeah. become a thing. Yes. You know? The thing is about Ashish is that keep going on Patreon. Uh, we're gonna keep this keep, keep this moving on Patreon. Come on over. What mango? Ah. Ah. Ah.